Like I said, it doesn't matter how this next match, but the does the pay go up depending on how far you? Let me check this. Yeah, you do get more money. Um, so you need to at least win this match to get money. So the bottom two don't get anything. Top four get some, and then second and first get some. So winning this match does matter, or else the loser of this match gets nothing. So it is still important. These two are both going to, despite maybe being a little bit jaded versus happy, they're doing their best here. So, lab creep. So Mr. Hawk, who loses a peasant. Classic mistake building the farm too early. A player's forces are under attack. Hawkeye versus Slicer Dicer. Wow. Laser, blazer, taser. You fit all those characters into one name on what two champions is the question. Can my name be Laser, Blazer, Taser? Dodge a wrench. Hopefully, you can dodge my ex wife for your entire life. Almost level three on the keeper. Mage. With not the worst items, could be a lot better, though. I like this base build from Dice. Again, uh, Moonwell's clumped with a little pocket is a good way to do it. Superhero power is spelling names. Well, that not it pronouncing names. Hey, I don't read so good, okay? Never saw Dice play Warden. I've seen Dice play Warden a little bit, but certainly not as common as some other players. Gotta get this Arcane Tower up. Ooh, nice micro there. Saving this passage pretty much as long as he possibly could and then denies it. This is really nicely done from Hawk, actually, so far. Keeper! What are you doing? <laughs> oh my god. Well, just like that, Hawk might win this game. Luckily, it wasn't level 3. If he hadn't have denied... No, he was 2.8. I was going to say, if he hadn't have denied that peasant, would he have been level 3? But no, I don't think he would have. Alright, you got to fill out. Get into all that right now. It's just games, dude. <laughs> Let's just chill. Alright. I understand the sentiment, but okay, it's, we're here to watch video games, my dude. A town is under siege. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, and towers up. Keep her back from the tavern. Now he gets level three, but he's got no mana. Careful with your footman. A player's forces are under attack. Who was playing on stream earlier today that you guys were watching? Is level two entangle? Based on theorycraft, I thought you could sack like fourteen foot and then keep away for your expo. There's two ways to do it. Both ways work, but splitting the difference, in my opinion, doesn't work. So you either go full footy sacrifice mode or full peasant sacrifice mode and then play but I think full peasant sac mode only works on certain maps where the elf is guaranteed to counter expand on maps where the elf is playing a one base timing strategy you should sacrifice more footmen that's my opinion on this sort of a matchup could be wrong but that's how I see it 
And I'd have to go, I'd have to spend a lot more time explaining it uh, to tell you why, but uh, the reasons why might be in that Theorycraft episode. A player's forces are under attack. Not an early shop. I don't think that's the worst worst idea. A lot of NL players just don't. Like, even Kaho doesn't really buy a lot of clarities. Yeah, like, imagine a clarity right now, even though he gets burned right away. Wow, this is ambitious. Shredder. Okay, Hawk is not playing a tier 2 timing. I'm doing any middle of the night casting this weekend, guys. No, I'm not, actually. If you guys must know. You guys must know this weekend is uh, my birthday. Under attack. I'll be getting drunk this weekend, is what I'm doing. And actually, I'm doing some work for music stuff. Because I got hired to go on another tour. Not with my band, but with another band. Uh, 20, 28, bro, Rush. Oh, Archmage! Oh my god, the Zeppelin, Jesus! That would have been a sick save. I didn't even see that one coming. Imagine if it got purged though, then he just lost his Zeppelin to the archers. He might have. Getting fuzzed up myself tonight, brother. Hell yeah. But still not for a couple days, okay? Not for a couple days. It's been a long week, yeah. Get you. Except for my week, because it's not been that long. But. I've been busy, you know? I've been busy. A lot of man. I've been doing things. So this is a timing for dice. I want to say, but where's? It? Yeah, he's not counter expanding, so he is going for some sort of bear bus, no? And a shredder, not going tier three. I don't. I, I'm kind of confused. I'll be honest with you, from both sides, but less confused from the dice side of things. Maybe the reason Dice is playing this sort of wacky in-between strat is because he lost the Keeper like that early game. And the Keeper... The resources he spent on the Keeper were the resources he would have used on an expansion early on. You'd think he would have just gone Panda if he wanted to play one base. You know what I'm saying? His Demon Hunter isn't necessarily really the most... The most, uh... Bear-busty type hero. So hot. Should be in a good spot despite the Archmage loss. They both kind of had a silly hero loss this game. Keeper with one orb. So Dice is just straight harassing with a Keeper. While creeping up a demon that's already level 4. Backpack as well. Damn, he's wasting... Look at him, power creep. Like, look how efficient he's been. He wants level 5 BH. I like this this style from Dice. I mean, it's weird. Doesn't make the most sense. It's certainly not the best way, but... It's a way. Especially if you get level 5 DH. But... Oh, he's losing a bear. Oh, he's gonna lose another bear. A player's forces are under attack. There was an attempt. Keeper, though, getting some damage done. Getting a lot of damage done, actually. Almost dry.
those two bear losses. Where's the army? Keeper needs to staff back. Health stone, by the way, from the red camp. Oh, staff out. Did you? Not quite yet. There's just not the army that Dice needs. You can see what he was trying to do, but Hawk just says, I don't care. Pushing your base. I'm ending the game. I feel like he should have tried to get a staff of preservation on the DH if he was going to play. That sort of, you know, keeper split off from the rest of the army, mass creeping sort of game. Just in case of that creep check. But okay, the drive positioning is good. But there's so much slow. And you see how poorly the game can go if there's a bad initial harass. Now the keeper gonna die. Game two. Springtime now, everybody. Worried that I was doing the uh, map order wrong, but no, I was right. Look over. Over, how are you not VIP in here yet? I don't have the power, but should be. There's zero mistakes and still zero chances, crazy. Kevin, I do like I do like that you're net off bias, but you still understand the irony. Respect it. Just waiting for a hawk to join up, then we'll be going into springtime. in the game. Oops. Server for you. in chat, maybe that's why. True. Alright, game number two on springtime. Hey, everybody. Yeah, the two bears lost in that creep jack was probably, I mean, Dice was not in a very good game, but he got the he got the Archmage kill, he had a good harass at the expansion, maybe if he keeps those two bears alive, he can hold that push, and then, who knows, the DH was five after that push was held, and DH can really carry a game late like that. Regardless. Going into game two. Octopus Dice winner plays happy. Which I believe will be our next match, actually. Fair kills gave MK3 too. Oh, did it? It wasn't the red camp. 
it would it have been the red camp either way? I guess would be the question. Anywho. Here we go. Upper left is Hawk. Bottom right is Dice. Hawk has been on a little bit of a win streak versus Dice. That sounds is the superior strategy. Hitman thought as well, Kevin. Hitman thought that as well. It was 3.0 after Red Camp. Oh, very interesting. Yes, yeah, so he wouldn't have been able to push on that timing had he not got the bears. Very interesting. This seems like a... Yeah, I was going to say Dima Hunter Ancient War positioning, and it is. Dark Mage again. Will it be a 3 farm expo? Was not last game for Hawk, but I think... This game, it should be? Dare I say. Dare I say should. And I do dare say should. I did say should. A player's forces are under attack. All should be good in the hood over here for dice. We should be out in a second. Pros plays with default hotkeys or do they custom their hotkeys? I think actually lots of pros use default hotkeys, surprisingly, but the newer players tend to use more custom keys. I think the reason the old school players don't use custom keys as much is because there were certain custom keys that weren't allowed in the past. For, for instance, like item hotkeys weren't allowed in some tournaments in the past and stuff like that. I feel like newer players just have more customization, like zoom and stuff is a new thing, so the old, like the really old school players are probably all default. Yeah, I, I, I think custom keys like actually like rebinding move to Q, I think pretty sure that's always been allowed. This defense so far gets the water elemental. But just certain other things, item hotkeys in particular. But I want to say, like, Happy uses standard hotkeys. And it's honestly really hard to change hotkeys. I have changed from pure standard hotkeys to some different custom keys. Like, you know, I use Q for move, and Lightning Shield, and Invis are E. And all my macro keys, uh, keys are gridded. But even that, and that's not even changing everything around. My my war mill is bind to Z or Z, wherever you are from. One base from Hawk. But nowadays you can just, you know, there's no confusion as to how to customize your keys, I don't think. Is that? You can do it on War 3 Champions, and also there's a grid in Warcraft. Players under attack. A couple years ago, I made a switch to grid. Grid is better. Like, if you're starting off, just learn, just play with grid. Absolutely, just play with grid. And play with zoom maxed. <laughs> if you're a new player, max out zoom, put on grid hotkeys, and you're good to go. You already have a head start of most players. Archmage, there we go. Staff in. That was skill immolation too. Uh oh. Base was open, even though the wisp made it in. The base was open anyway. Oh, this is not the sort of damage you want to take when you're playing a one base timing strat. He saves every peasant though. Oh my god, Hawk. And he blocks the DHN. One peasant dies. That is amazing. But Range Army comes in. A town is under siege. Players' forces are under attack. So far, a good defense from Hawk, but he's not mining. Which makes it out, though. No TP forced. Hawk go 
back to mine, and there we go. Custom keys are made available at TFT 1.07. Okay, so there's another case for why older school players might not use custom keys, because when did that patch come out? It must have been at least a couple of years, right? But players like Moon that played from the release of the game might be like, I'm so used to standard keys, why would I change now? And then just never did it, even though that was 20 years ago. Who knows? Who knows? So you'd have to ask the players. Whereas players like maybe, you know, 120, Chamiko, even though they're not like new, new players, they're new enough that they probably use different hotkeys. Archmage, you gotta be careful. This is very ambitious from Hawk, moving out on the map like this. Let's see, maybe he can get a Naga kill. He's gonna have to swap the town portal. Possibly. He's just gonna lose, <laughs> lose the Naga to the Ancient War. The H has gotta be running low on Moonwells. Block? Block, block, block. Right. The Moonwells are quite low. When you start a fight, the question is, uh, like, are there suggestions for how to start a fight? Because you, like, attack move the ground, but then you accidentally attack your own units. I have the same mistake. Hold that thought. I make the same mistake. Um, because instead of right-clicking, I have a bad habit of... There's a TP forest, one peasant goes down. I have a bad habit of instead of right-clicking to attack, I hit A and then left-click. Which means sometimes, not often anymore, because I've gotten more used to it, uh, I attack my own units. Which is just an unforced error that you shouldn't really allow to happen. But um, what you should do instead of attacking attacking ground like next to your army, like if I'm this archmage and I attack and click here, oh. um, you should instead attack and attack past your your opponent's army. So like they're that you're here, they're here. You attack and click past them, and at least your units will all move and attack them. Because if your army is like in a weird position, like your army's here. You have some units back here, some units here, some units here, and their army's here. And you only attack to like here. These units won't know that there's an army here to attack, right? They're not gonna they're not gonna see it in time. And they're just gonna chill back here. Whereas if you attack all the way over here, at least your whole army, bare minimum, is going to attack at the same time. Bare minimum. I recommend watching Infi vods for how to micro armor, like full size armies. He's the best. He's the best at it and it's actually he makes it look so easy. Most players over micro. Like a lot. Happy over micros, but he does it in a very efficient way, which is why it's very hard to emulate him. But most players that aren't happy and aren't infi, super over micro. They do fancy stuff all the time. Infi is just clean, cool, calm. And he's so damn good. Watch, watch Infi. I don't care with what race. Just watch Infi. Doesn't have to be with human. Nice. And it goes spot here in game number two. The harass seems to have paid off. He's gotten enough time. Now he's tier three with Master Bear. Why is great micro too? Oh yeah, all the top players have great micro. It's just about how they micro. Like, mechanically how they micro from their point of view. Not necessarily what we see on the screen, because the outcome is always the same on the screen. They micro really well, uh, making very few mistakes a lot of the time. But it's how they achieve that, right? Do you need 500 APM to do what Fly does? Maybe, because he might not be the most efficient. But Infi can do what he does, which is on par or better than Fly, with 250 APM, right? Probably 150 effective APM you can do what Infi does. And Hawk calls for the GG, a tied series, Dima Hunter harass. Sometimes all it takes, Julia would say. That's how the song goes, right? We'll be going into Hammerfall now. Now this has to be a three farm expo map, right? 
If the arcane tower would have helped. Hey, I forgot about arcane towers. Yeah, that would have helped, wouldn't it? <laughs> Damn, you're right. Where was this arcane tower? <laughs> Didn't we all forget about our arcane towers that game? Game number three. All right, a tied series. Figured this one would go to game three. Game three takes us to Hammerfall. Hammerfall. Open. I'm hoping for a three farm expansion from. And from Dice, probably going to be Demon Hunter again, I mean, with how well it went. But, I mean, Keeper might be better on this map than DH. I don't know. I don't know anything about this game. Let's just watch the game and find out, okay? Good Mikey Likey. Upper left is not Dice, but it is. Hawk. Bottom right is Dice. As we have Mario slash Luigi. My old practice partner used to call me Mario. He's a Korean player. <clears throat> he used to call me Mario. Still does probably, but he's never in chat anymore. Kim, where are you at? Yes, I miss Kim. You beat me with Talons so many games in a row. And then when the Keeper patch came around, for some reason he wanted to practice on Amazonia over and over again before we knew how broken Amazonia was for the Keeper patch. And I was like, why does it feel impossible to win? Oh, what do you know? It was impossible to beat Keeper on Amazonia in Keeper patch. What do you know? Up disengage. Night Elf players. There's the Mario 64 speedruns. You know? It's been tempting. It's been tempting. Wonder what time I could get. Amazonia no longer played. It's being played in one tournament right now. Is it WSB? No, I don't think it's WSB. A player's force the WAL? It's a tournament that has Amazonia in the map pool. I mean, hey, I like playing Amazonia versus human. So it is Keeper. And it is a three farm expo from Hawk. This gets ensnared. Best case scenario. Kills it. For the BLJs, on my best runs, pretty good. For my worst runs, I lose five minutes on them. This WSB that has Amazonia. Well, there it is. I figured they. I figured they knew better with that tournament. In the past, it seemed like a pretty pro tournament. But oh my god. What the hell happened over here, Dice? Merklet? Where are the other two peasants? What is up with the... Oh, no, no, no. I was looking at the lumber for Dice. I was like, what's up with the lumber of Hawk? But no, it's his resources work out perfectly. Oops. Archer. Stuck around a little too long. Oh, no deny there. Second Age in a War, Mass Hunts for Dice. Reants should be summoned from here. This expansion should be a lot faster. But for some reason, he only kept three peasants around. It's just sort of weird. I don't know why. Oh, no deny. Oops. Do we have a footman scout anywhere? So Hunter's Hall was hidden. A player's Second Ancient War hidden. Attack. So he needs to scout the tech or the Moonwell count, which the third Moonwell is also hidden. A town kind of. Is under I don't know if he did that on purpose. Now the hunt is shown, though. 
So what do we need to see? Lumber mill, which we see right away. Maybe even a blacksmith. Hopefully an arcane tower this series. We do see the arcane tower, the expansion being upgraded. And he needs to also be scouting for APs. Are these wisps? No, they are not. He's scouting for APs as well. Players' forces are under attack. Kepler will have to go back soon, though. Waiting for the wisps to be pulled. These wisps will probably be building APs on the bridge. Which means he needs to get level 3. Is this going to get him there? Just barely, right? I hit him from the keeper. We're gonna see a big push into the main now for dice. Seems ready, however. Would love to see a shop here, a blacksmith. Dice is running out of time. Or is he hitting the perfect timing? A town is under siege the shop now but honestly shop should now just be built Players in between right here because this is going to get cancelled oh no okay, time still being bought Ar Archmage does want to be positioned behind the army ideally so it can deal with any glaive throwers and cancel APs so the positioning is correct for the Archmage it was just caught out a little bit which looks unfortunate you just detonate the water elemental uh oh PP and the shop isn't here. Shop should already be built, though, honestly. It should have been built a long time ago. The Hawk, look at the resources. And he's not attacking. Like, the, sh the shop should be up. The shop should be up, and he should have been using a clarity preparing for this push. He knew there were Huntresses. Just mistakes. Mistakes from Hawk. Where's the shop now? Not even built. Expansion's gone. Give up the expo. Go free. It ain't happening. The expo will hold. All right. Let's see. We're back to level four. Oh, it'd be nice some experience there, though. What are the moon wells like? Not bad. Probably better just get a heal scroll soon, however. The AP's up. Oh my god, he calls all the militia. Dark Mage, uh-oh. is dead. One AP's dead. He's staffing over to get that heal scroll. Just too much damage, he's gonna heal up the hunts and come right back. And look. Two on gold. Gonna get mana. Would have liked to see would like to see actually another heal scroll bot. And trying to hold it's the Archmage positioning. I mean really, yeah. Hard to do. Hard to do perfect arc pinch position against Entangle, but you know what I'm saying? Another heal scroll. There we go. And prot scroll. Needs to use the first one early, though, because there will be a cooldown on the second heal scroll. So he should have already had the Huntresses in range to heal them. Please use the heal scroll. Please use it. Dude. Use it now. There's a cooldown. You can't just use both. There you go. Mage back in 20 seconds. 
Don't let this third tower get up, is all I can say. Not in the best shape here. There's a lot of footmen. Imagine, though, if he had just actually packed. Might have been more playable than now being up against this level 5 keeper. Okay, this is where dice should tack. He's got the resources. Press the button. There we go. I'll even cancel this AP, unless he wants to expand here himself, which would be a mistake, so he doesn't like it. Now the Archmage is creeping, and now he's tacking. One base, one base, everybody. Thanks should continue pressuring with level 3 Triumphs. Got so much mana, he should skill level 3 Triumphs and just try to break the base while tacking. What's level 3 Entangle? Well, let's see. Interesting. And Hawk calls a GG. And that's 2 1 for dice. We'll move on to play Happy. Let's try to Hawk. Got mass hunted in the end.